So now a sugar-rich diet does not initiate or cause the development of type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is a autoimmune disease where the insulin producing cells are destroyed by the own immune system. So this means that uh, there is not enough insulin available to shift glucose from the bloodstream into the cells. Um, there are genetic risk factors that are well known that they are associated with a higher risk to develop type 1 diabetes. So this means that children who have those specific risk genes have a higher risk to develop disease, but not every child with these risk genes will really develop the disease later on life. We also know that uh, having those risk genes is not enough to develop type 1 diabetes later in life. It is rather thought that there is a complex interplay between genetic and environmental factors that are initiating the process leading to type 1 diabetes. So when we think about environmental factors, uh, we know, for example, that dietary factors may be important, such as the age when the child was first introduced to gluten in the diet, that this is associated with the development of the autoimmune process leading to type 1 diabetes. On the other hand, uh, we think that environmental toxins are not involved in the autoimmune process leading to the destruction of uh, the insulin-producing cells.